Hi guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel. Today we've got Jay in the chair. How are you doing, mate? How are you doing, Dan? All right, I'm all right. Thanks, how are you? Yeah, not bad, mate. Good, 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 good. So, you've got long hair. Yeah. What's happening? What are we doing? Um, I've had it like this for about 10 years now, mate. Okay. And um, I think it's time for like a transformation. Okay, cool. Um, I was thinking like a kind of um, medium length, layered, mm -hmm. kind of masculine, you know, silhouette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a picture here, actually. actually. Great, that's a look. It's one of your cuts, actually. Okay. So, oh, yeah. that guy? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah like that, yeah. Yeah. See, it's been a really popular one that actually. Yeah, people really, really like that haircut. Actually, I, I, I was, I liked it as well, obviously. But um, yeah, cool. All right, we can do something similar to that for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is my hair type compatible for that, Jack and Dan? Um, yeah, I don't see why it wouldn't be. Let's have a little look at the top. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll be. Yeah, it's just got to fall. That's the only thing. It's just got to have enough weight in it that it falls. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we could do something along the lines of that. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, definitely. I think if anything, it would probably look more textured than. Um, than that particular finish because of your hair colour. Okay, yeah. Because the darker it is, the less texture you tend to see. Um, but when it's lighter, you get a little bit different tones through it, so you probably see a bit more texture in it. So I think, if anything, it will probably look a little bit more, like there's more movement in it than that does. Okay. So, um, but yeah, we can do something like, as, as close to something along the lines of that, medium length, like you said, masculine, yeah. um, moves around. Are you prepared to style your hair? Yeah, yeah. in fact, I look forward to it, mate. Oh, do you? Okay, cool. I've had it like this for a while now, and yeah. um, I can't really, could you, you could show us how to do the products and stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah of course. That's uh, what you're offering. And um, yeah. miles off it when it comes to all the products. That's fine, mate. I, I always try, and my, my whole philosophy is when it's when cutting hair, especially if you're doing something like yours, like a big transformation, is making sure it's it's doable for you. Yeah. Okay, because it's no good that I can do it because I'm not with you all the time. And you need to be able to do it yourself. So I always try and keep it as low maintenance, but as effective and as good as it can look uh, with a low maintenance element as well. That's so, great, mate, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk you through that. But two products max. Yeah. That's all you'll need, all right? And I'll guide you. I'll tell you where to get them from as well. Oh, all right, man. Yeah, thank cool. you. Cool. Right, well, let's give this a shampoo and condition. Yeah. Blank canvas. And then, uh, in fact, you know what? No, actually, do you know what? No. I'm going to cut it off first. Yeah. And then I'm going to wash it, all right? Because sure. I think that'll be, that'll be good. You can keep it then. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, sure. right, have you got a bubble? Yeah, can I, yeah. Can, I, can I have one of them so I can just, uh, wrap it up for you? Yeah. So I always have to ask you this, Jay. Are you ready? I am ready, mate. Are yeah. you sure? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Let's do it then, mate. Let's do it. <laughs> God, just think when you wake up in the morning tomorrow, mate, you'll go to run your hands through your hair. <laughs> like, oh, where's that gone? Oh, yeah. There we go. Right. So I'm going to cut it off fairly low just so we can maintain a, a good amount of hair for the transformation. I don't want to take it too high, um, but that'll be a good a good enough length, I think. Have you got another bubble by any chance? I have, mate, yeah. Yeah, can I nick one? Yeah, there you go. Second. I'm always packing. I was going to say, mate, you, you've got to at this length, mate. <laughs> Can't be caught short with no bubble. <laughs> there we go. Thank you very much. I'll just put this at the end as well. There we go. That'll do. Right. Say goodbye to <laughs> 10 years worth of hair. Taking this off. God, this is such thick hair, man. There <laughs> we go. Still going. Still going, mate. There we go. <laughs> Woohoo! Look at that. Now, I mean, that is a very 90s style, mate. You could actually rock that if you wanted to, mate. But <laughs> yeah. it's all right. There you go. Jeez. <laughs> Look at the weight of that. Wow, yeah. It's heavy, isn't it? That is heavy, yeah. See how much weight you've lost after, <laughs> after taking your haircut, you know, it does actually uh, make a difference, doesn't it? I might finally be able to get a beard. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, I'll put that down for Thanks, you. Mate. So what we'll do is, gonna keep it, what I've done is I've left your length at the nape, so we've still got that kind of medium finish down the bottom as well, so it'll still sit on the collar, which is the main thing, all right? Yeah. That's the medium sort of length for me, is when it sits on the collar, and it, you can actually put some product in and style it, all right? Mm -hmm. So let's give this a shampoo and condition now, mate. Yeah, sure. You back. Thank you. So, what was the um, what was that sort of initial sort of uh, reason to grow your hair long? I was um, just yeah. doing um, doing my degree uh, in art, and I just um, it wasn't really like a choice. Okay. I just like neglected it a bit, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, before you know it, shoulder length, and then before you know it, it's longer. Yeah. 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 yeah definitely. You've looked after it though. Maybe did you did you sort of spend a lot of time researching how to like wash your hair properly and condition it? Like, that's no, all. You know, I don't no. only wash it like once a week, mate. Well, that's good. Yeah, just yeah. shampoo and condition. Um, I've never really used products to be honest, mate. So. Okay, okay. 
just look like it's in good nick. I mean, you saw how, how you can feel the weight of it. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Good, good out of here. No, no worries, mate. When did you wash this last? Um, last night, mate. Last night, okay. Yeah. Well, in that case, what I'll do is I won't shampoo it again. I'll just put some condition through, all right? Yep. Don't want to over-shampoo it, especially if you've not been doing it for that long. You know, you've been doing it once a week for that long. I don't want to over-shampoo it. Right, so this is all. I didn't shampoo it in the end because uh, Jay said he just washed it last night. So um, just put some conditioner through it. And I'm just going to comb this out now. So, I've got a good length at the back as our starting point, as you can see from where we cut it. So, one of the reasons why I cut it to that at that height, as you can see, when you turn it around, it's at a really good height at the bottom. So, we've got a nice guide for where that's going to sit. All right? Because that's, that's again, medium length, collar length, and then we can keep some uh, length falling into that. So, that's why it's always good to give yourself a little bit of a guide to start with. So when you are, especially if you get a client like Jay where you're whipping it right off, right? Then, Always pull it down and cut it from that angle there, just away from the neckline a little bit, because then you get the shorter elements, but you get where it wants to finish as well. All right. So, um, starting off with a horseshoe, um, this is again going to allow me to focus on the back and sides first, then going down to like obviously trying to guess a length or guess a guess a guide, as I always say when you when you're starting somewhere else, and when you start to cut that shape in. So working all the way around, and again. Good reason to cut all the hair off uh, at the very start as well, as we're not going to use it, and it just it's just a lot easier to section when it's a bit shorter. So then we can focus purely on what we can see. So what prompted you to um, want to get a transformation then, Jay? Um, I just feel like you know summer's around the corner, and um, the thought of carrying that like man bun round, you know. <laughs> It actually weighs quite a bit, as we, yeah. as we saw there. And, uh, like a rucksack on your head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So something just a bit lighter and a bit more professional, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely, yeah. 100%. Are you, so did you, you know, you said you were, you, you, so you grew it when you were um, doing your art degree? Yeah. Are you, did you did you still stick to art? Are you still doing that now? Yeah, no, I'm actually doing my master's at the moment. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, so I'm still at it, mate, yeah. Oh, working. Loving it, to be fair, it's... Uh, is it a job that you can kind of wear whatever you want in as well? Like yeah. you're not limited to like certain dress sense and certain hairstyles and stuff like that, yeah? Like yeah. obviously creative, I guess, so. Nice. I suppose that gives you a good opportunity to have your hair longer as well because you can get away with it a bit more, can't you? So Yeah. Let's take a good bit of length of this. We want this to sort of still fall to maybe like sort of middle of the ear, I would say, about there. So they can flow around and move back. So taking two finger width sections, so taking some length off. Again, we start our first section and we try and put our two fingers from where the recession point is. So there's usually a line between the sideburns and the recession. I usually start from there. So as you can see, I put my fingers next to the comb, bang on two fingers. Pull this out. And take off the length that works. There we go. Perfect. There we go, there's my guide. Do another cut. Pull that out. Now you can already see the texture of Jay's hair is awesome, right? You see that wave that's coming in, little curl coming, sort of coming towards the bottom with the weight. I think we can really, really capitalize on that and give it a really nice finish. I think the type of look that you want to go for as well is, is so good. It'll work really well with the wave because you'll get that flow instantly you know by just having a wave yeah. in your hair jay so yeah. i think it's actually a really good uh, good look to go for actually mate oh god man i think you've picked the right style i remember when i was growing it out like i kind of preferred it when i was in them kind of stages you know before they went to shoulder length yeah yeah preferred the kind of wave and the movement and stuff yeah yeah, yeah. i think I th well again it's natural so it's it's one of them right it, it, i always find if you get it cut into a good shape you, you can just kind of roll with it and let it let it kind of fall how it wants to right that's what I always think works really well. I think when you've got something like this type of texture, you can really emphasize this texture as well. And it can look different every day, which is, again, the, the, the beauty of uh, just being able to like, leave it to dry naturally or whether you want to put a diffuser on it or whether you want to put a nozzle on it and blow dry it properly. Put some products through it if you want to as well. 
You know, there's loads of things you can do, you don't have to do as well, you know. You could just probably leave this and let it fall naturally if you want to one day, you know. Unwashed for, again, like four or five days, the whole texture will change. Yeah. So you'll have a completely different style in three or four days anyway. So, so again, sticking to the same width section, two fingers, taking a, a, set, a little guide from the middle of the last section. This is what I find I need to cut to. As you can see, there's a guide that I've pulled in from the previous section. Put it out to the middle, and then we cut. Now you can see <laughs> the difference in that one side. Even though the length of the bottom stayed the same, you see that the type of shape we're cutting into this now. It's gonna. I, I think this is gonna. It's gonna look so good. You can. I can already sort of vision what it's gonna look like towards the end, and it's gonna be awesome. It really is. I think it's gonna probably be more on trend than what maybe maybe the picture you show me. It's gonna look as similar to that, but I actually, I actually think it's gonna be slightly more textured looking than that as well. Oh, okay. Um, which would be really nice for you as well. I think you'll, you'd find that a lot easier to manage, okay? Yeah, does that like give the hair more movement, does it? Damage? It does indeed, yeah. yeah. That's exactly it, yeah. More than it being like, so when we talk about movement, you're probably a perfect example for this, right? So you'll be able to see this on the video yourself, right? It's probably gonna be quite hard to see because I'm using like the back and the sides for you. But uh, for the camera, I'll show you after this section. Uh, when we talk about movement, we talk about the hair being able to move around, right? But movement can come in loads of different forms. You can come in like sort of wave curl, you know, a different type of movement can be cut into different texture here. For example, like mine, I don't want much movement, but I've still got it because you can see the hair sweeping back, right? With Jay's, for example, right? What yours, Jay? If you look at, well, if you can't look, but what, look on the video, right? That's the yeah. best thing to do, right? <laughs> look on the video because you'll be able to see it more, right? But if I just pull this out the way and put it on the other side, right? You'll see that when you look at that, obviously that's just that's just long layers, right? There's not much, there's still a bit of movement because you can see the wave, but nothing's moving about, everything's kind of clumping together. When we look at it when we've cut it shorter, look at the way the hair falls separately, right? That's that's the movement that I think, again, when we're playing with Jay's hair texture, that's the movement that we want to bring up. That's the, that, that is, to me, a sort of classic bit of movement in somebody with a wave in the hair, right? Because you can see instantly when you see that side to that side, Long layers, shorter layers, but still the same end and length. It works really, really well. There we go, following the same guide still. Pull that out like that. Go ahead and cut that down. So then we're finishing at the nape of the collar. Now I'm going to cut the perimeter in after we've finished this section. Um, so this side, we're going to cut the perimeter in, and then I'm going to connect the top in as well. So I want to get that length perfectly around the bottom first before I connect the top in. We're looking for a nice bit of movement. We're not looking to try and make it look like a longer top. I'm actually wanting to create a, a sort of shape and a new style for Jay. So cut the perimeter in first. That's the end. That's the end goal length, and then we can obviously connect everything else into that as well. Now we cut the perimeter. So I'm gonna work back on the right hand side, cut the perimeter in first, and then we're gonna connect the topping. All right. So we're gonna work just to use the ear, just on that side there, just to the back of the ear, like so. Put that down to the collar length. Again, we're looking for masculine shape, one of the keywords. Masculine shape is a shorter side, longer back, when you're looking at these kind of lengths. If it was the same length, it would start to look like a bob, which would be classed as a slightly more feminine shape. Just following the guy from the right hand side. Yeah. Gap filler, just on that bit there. Perfect. Now, top wise. So again, we're talking about primary shape right now. I don't need to add much texture to the back and sides of JJ because the movement is already there. So by doing this technique, I've done primary shape and secondary shape within one. I don't know if I'm going to use the razor on his hair. 
I don't know if it's going to hold up. It might be a little bit too wavy for it. Maybe a bit, yeah, maybe a little bit kind of a drier consistency, which I don't know whether it works. I think we actually want to work with the natural wave movement on that. And then that'll be, be a lot better. So I think for a lot of J's here, will be primary shape, which will then be a created secondary shape because of the, the, the section and pattern. I'm going to connect this in on the side. So we're going for a more square shape. Again, masculine, masculine terminology. Um, but also keeping in that length as well that we want to kind of show off and movement and, and everything else. That was like basically the photograph of the still of that video we did recently. So make it on the right hand side, lead hand. Drop this down slightly as well to like sort of the middle here. Okay, so towards the temple. So we're maintaining quite a bit of length in the top. That is what gives that drop and that flow into the hair. Okay, so bring that all the way over. So pull that out. Find the guide you can see coming through. And then we cut. Now don't forget, loads of hair coming off here, but don't, but you know, that was the top of the hair, the top of the head, right? We, we cut the ponytail off here. So there will be a lot of hair on top. So don't worry about more hair coming off compared to what the sides and the back were. That's just uh, gonna be totally normal. So don't, don't, don't worry. You've got your guide underneath, follow your guide, okay? I'm working into the front as well. I'm connecting that fringe in too. Let me just do a little check. Yes, nice. Working just up to the center. I'm gonna work one section past the center though. Comes down to that previous section now. So you can see the angle's a lot lower down, but I've got, I've got the guide underneath. So we cut to that. The reason we're doing that is because I wanna be able to manipulate how much length I take off the top to fall into the sides and the back. So I'm connecting in the top and keep preserving length. Great bit of inspiration from the photograph, but obviously it's not gonna be it's not gonna be identical to the photograph, but the shape is gonna be the same. Just slightly more textured, slightly you know, a little bit more wavy. That's ideal. But again, using an using an image, like Jay said, like it's easier to explain when you see an image, isn't it? You know? Using that image, I've got an understanding of exactly what look he's trying to achieve. Yeah, all right. It's got completely different hair texture, but that's the look he's trying to achieve. So inspiration is always good because it, you know, if you if you've got if you've got an image that say is, you know, you've got curly hair, that image is straight here, then obviously we can't, we, we, we're, we're at limits. But if you've got hair that is like so a, a medium length, you want it to be brushed back, certain pictures will give the barber or the hairdresser the understanding of what shape you're trying to achieve more than the sort of the cut that you want, if that makes sense. So obviously we can say, yeah, you can have your hair coming back and have a bit of flow in it. But obviously, as we know, it's going to be a different texture, but you'll still get that same shape as what we cut into on that previous haircut. Right, so one last section now past the middle. So you imagine how much hair is being pulled over from that left hand side. So it's just a mirror image of the other side. Halfway temple as the guide. Got my guide underneath that I'm following. Don't forget the guide underneath is the same length as the as the other side because we've done our cross check. Pulling the string. I'm not going round with it, I'm just pulling it straight out. Try to preserve length through the back wheel to come to the crown everything later. There we go. Pulling that back now. Down like so. So connecting the back in now. So again, I'm doing a finger width from the crown and I'm pulling it straight out, right? But I'm not going to drop this down too low because I want to keep shaping the back. I want the back to have a bit more shape in it. And I'm going to connect it to that side there. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a connection through the back. I'm just gonna work around it now. Just cross check. Make sure it's even both sides. There we go. As you can see, we're matching that other side there. And that keeps the shape through the back as well. And that's how it stays nice and straight. I'm gonna take that to the top and refine the point. Pick it up like so. There's a little peak, I'm gonna use that. That's the guide right there. Through the top, there we go. That this peak here. You see, short there, short there. 
uh, from both sides and through the section, I can see it. I'm gonna pull this straight out and then this will connect to the underneath, right? Pull that straight out. There's a the guide from the underneath and in front as well. You still wanna leave one end at the front because that's gonna come back. There we go. Pull this straight out like so. Straight out, matches the other side. Pull this back. I'm just gonna give a little ruffle like so. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of slide cutting in here just to create a little bit more texture, okay? I'm gonna pull this back, take a very, very wide section and just in that area where we transitioned here, do this bit here, right? I'm gonna work with the hair, the way the hair flows naturally. Starting from halfway through, I'm just gonna slide through the hair like so. Because I think this will give a, a slightly more chunkier finish and I'm also creating direction as well. I want this hair to fall into the sides. Just letting that flow in like that, like so. Sliding in this way now, just pulling in like that. Get that same finish that we're looking for. And that will give a nice, smooth finish and transition as well. And now, I'm gonna dry it. So, product wise, okay? What I'm gonna use for yours is I'm gonna use a leave-in conditioner. Like so, we'll put that in first. So again, I haven't wet your hair down at all since we've been cutting it. It's just starting to dry naturally, okay? And by doing that, and you are cutting longer hair, by letting it dry naturally, you're starting to see exactly how it's gonna really style properly, okay? Yeah. okay leave in conditioner like so. I'm gonna do all the detail on the side bends once we've done the, we've dried it in as well, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm just scrunching in the leave in conditioner, like that. So. All right? Now, leave in conditioner is on first. Now, I'm gonna put on the product over the top of the conditioner, okay? So I'm gonna use a, this is a, a weightless texture and control foam, okay? So three pumps of that. Again, I don't want weight in your hair. I want it to be weightless, but I want to add the texture. So this is a bit like using a salt spray with a bit more hold, okay? Oh, here I just do three pumps and then scrunch this in, okay? Like so. Now, I don't want to make your hair any curlier. I want to actually just create the wave. So you can leave this to dry naturally and it would stay like this, or I'm gonna maybe just blast it through really, really quickly with finger drying just to create a bit more flow. Yeah. All right, yeah. so that's all I would do. So whatever you like to wake up to do, you can do. If you wanna make it more wavy and more curly, use a diffuser. If you wanna make it a bit more flowy, use a nozzle, all right? Or just let it dry naturally, whatever you prefer. So high speed, high heat, okay? Dry in the product, okay? Now I'm not gonna dry this completely, it's gonna dry in the product so it's Pretty much dry, okay? Because so doing the scrunch, scrunch effect will create wave if you're using a diffuser, but if you're blasting the hair through with the nozzle and you're scrunching it, it doesn't create too much for care, it just creates more of a, lo a looser wave, okay? okay? Yeah. Majority, 95% of this hair has been done purely by the section and pattern, not by any other technique of texturizing. So we've done primary shape and secondary shape within the section of the pattern. Right, so that is drying off for me. It's pretty much dry, okay? Just feel it's still slightly damp at the root, and that's fine, because you don't want it to be too big, okay? Now, the way to wear it, I don't know, I just let it kind of fall however it wants to. Me personally, I think by going against the way it wants to fall naturally, which is right to left, I'm gonna go left to right, and that'll give you a bit more height, which I think will look quite nice. Yeah. But again, the, the style is cut in, the shape is cut in, everything's falling how it should do, and that's the sort of finish you're left with. So you can have this drop down if you want a little bit more, yeah. or you can have it just sitting back, but I think sitting back like that's lovely. Um, and that's the kind of finish. So I'll just do your side bends, and then I'll, uh, I'll give you the mirror to have a proper look at it, all yeah, right? Yeah, great. Man. So just tidy the side bends up for you, make them look a bit neater, all right? Um, and then, yeah. It's pretty much done, mate. Yeah, looks great, man. I didn't realise my hair was that curly. Didn't you? No, no. 
It's amazing, yeah. I think the thing is though, your hair, if you've had your hair long for 10 years, your hair texture will have changed that you realise, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Just tidy this little bit up here, so it looks really neat. And then I just tidy up your neck here as well. So, nice and low maintenance. Get rid of all this little bit of neck here there. I'm not cutting into the hairline at all. Just whatever looks a bit untidy that falls through. And that, sir, is your finished look. That looks you like it. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Looks class, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, can you just hold that for me a second? Yeah, sure. Now I want to just spin you around. I want you to use that mirror in front of you to see yourself in the big mirror behind you, okay? I've got you. So. Can you see yourself coming in the mirror? Oh, wow. That's the finish you have now. So <laughs> there's the collar. The, the collar is at, is at the, the collar height, right? Yeah. That is the, the finish you've got. So you've got all that nice like texture wave at the back. Again, as you can see, I didn't do much to create this in terms of even the styling elements. Leaving conditioner for the, for the, for the, the quality and strength of the hair. A little bit of um, like sort of sea salt foam just to add that little bit of texture. Very low maintenance. Again, if you've not, if you've had long hair for so long, I don't want you to expect to have to like then go out and buy like a, a hairdryer with a brush yeah. and three or four different products and then try and find something else that doesn't work. Just something that you can actually achieve yourself. Blast it through with my fingers with a hairdryer. Everyone can get a hairdryer and use the fingers to dry the hair right. It's just down to two different products and that was it. And that's all you need. That's, and that's quite the look you get. It's a hundred times better than I imagined, mate. Is it really? Yeah, yeah I didn't, oh, didn't realise my hair could do that, you know. Yeah, yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? Yeah. Thank you so much, mate. You're welcome. Thank You're welcome. You so it looks amazing, Cheers. mate. Thank you, man. There you go, man. There you go. I think you look too easy, don't you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take it, man. And, uh, yeah. Enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Love it to meet you, man.